Guys, I just uncovered a secret meeting that happened between Ripple and the SEC earlier today on 4 p.m. December 9th of 2022. And the shocking thing about all this is it reaffirms the idea of a settlement because if you look at what they actually spoke about, and it has it actually labeled here, in which I quote, it says the subject matter of the closed meeting consisted of the following topics, institutions and settlement of injunction action, institution and settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other matters related to examinations and enforcement proceedings. It is freaking shocking because I have told you guys this for a very long time. There are signs that kind of show up before a settlement and all of the signs showed up. Specifically when you have people like the CEO and CTO of Ripple start going ahead and tweeting a lot of positive news and already pre-claiming that they're going to win. For example, in this tweet right here, David Joel Katz Shorts tweeted that, you know, when you buy an asset, in this case, he hinted at XRP, then you should expect the value to appreciate in the future and not instantly. And which he says, when you buy an asset in the expectation of it appreciating in value, whether it's a security, a commodity, a collectible or whatever, it's present value and everything built into it doesn't matter. When you look at buying something as an investment, particularly something that doesn't produce a revenue stream, just from holding it, what matters is how you think its value will change, not what value it has right now. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, said that from day one, they were aggressively fighting the SEC to get clear rules for the industry of crypto. And of course, he said congrats to all of the team Ripple for getting us to where we are at this point. Ripple stood strong and withstood the SEC's onslaught. I look forward to being on the right side of justice. Guys, all of these to me prove that there is a settlement going on and just having that closed meeting reaffirms it. Now, I also uncovered something even crazier than this closed meeting that happened today. But before we jump right into it, I I want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel because we are going to be giving away one XRP for every single subscriber by the New Year's. So if we hit a minimum of 15,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away 15,000 XRP. And if we hit 20K, then I'm going to be giving away 20,000 XRP. That's my way of giving back to you guys and making sure every single one of you guys gets some free XRP personally from me. So yeah, do your part if you want to win. Just smash that subscribe button with your press notifications on, hit that like button, share the video, and let's get right into it. So it turns out that there's actually another meeting that's also a closed meeting and also going to discuss settlements is going to take place on the 15th of December. Now keep in mind the timeline that we said when settlement's going to be is actually in January. So having all these closed meeting discussions in which they discuss, you know, settlement negotiations, how to resolve settlements and what the best methods of resolving the settlements, both parties are going to go ahead and speak to each other and maybe negotiate on what they want is great news because once again, it reaffirms the idea that there is a very high chance that we are going to see a settlement by that January timeline. And again, this is no prank. This is the official United States Securities and Exchange Commission. The link, of course, is, is right here. I'll show you guys it just so you understand. It is literally the sec.gov. This is the real page. And again, it states it quite clearly, institution and settlement of injunction action, institution settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other matters related to examinations and enforcement proceedings. It is clear, guys, this is settlements and we are going to see one very soon. All right, now I've seen a lot of people give their price predictions as to what they believe the price of XRP will be after settlement, but the one that I've seen that's most common and everybody kind of has agreed with is this one right here. It says, once settlement's announced, price will fast soar to all-time high. Hours later, exchanges will begin to relist XRP. After some chart movement, we will settle at around 40 to 65 dollars and once ripple starts announcing us based customers and products go live the us bank goes live with xrp we will see 500 dollars per xrp so yeah this is the price prediction like i said that i've seen a lot of people on twitter really agree with and a lot of people gave similar price predictions i think i seen somebody say it's going to go from 37 to 60 so again very close but this is the most common 40 to 65 dollars but yeah let me know what you guys think the price of xrp is going to skyrocket to after settlement or do you think it's going to skyrocket or is it not going to skyrocket especially with the current price of xrp right now 38 cents and the entire market in the red of course bitcoin did recover it's at 17,120 too, but we are still in the red right here. So do you think this is going to impact the substantial price increase that XRP could, you know, go up in value if the market is generally down? In fact, I do see somebody that went ahead and actually was tweeting about the fact that he believes XRP is going to hit $26. And this is based on the 1.618 Fibonacci extension. And then he continues on by saying that if there's a settlement with utility, XRP is going to hit $100 plus. This is actually a very interesting quote by Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple as well. Now, 
Now this is an older tweet right here. It's actually a June 2022 quote, so a couple months ago, but he actually made it clear that if they lose the lawsuit, then they're going to leave the US entirely and most likely go abroad. I think the Middle East would be a good option for them as they have a lot of business and they're already quite well established there. Like for example, last year, which is July 25th of 2022, Ripple signed the Al Ansara Exchange, a UAE based foreign exchange and money transfer company to use Ripple Nuts Cloud. And of course, the idea here was it was going to promote XRP's utility. Jeremy Hogan, a well-known attorney known within the XRP community, who's been analyzing the SC vs Ripple case for a very long time since they start and reporting on it, has actually officially released his predictions for the SEC vs Ripple lawsuit. Right now, we're going to roll the clips and let you hear what he has to say and what he believes slash predicts is going to happen with the SEC vs Ripple case. Let's roll the clip. All right, really quickly, I want to remind you guys of MetalCrypt.com, where you can buy your own personalized Metal Crypto coin more importantly the ripple xrp coin with case and of course the xrp coin with case right here now they come in gold and silver and to be honest they look so freaking fantastic if there's somebody like me that loves xrp or loves crypto in general or you know somebody a family a friend that loves crypto this is the perfect gift specifically for the holiday season so if you want to make sure you pre-order them so that you get them before christmas they are very nice and i personally bought a ton of the ripple xrp coins and xrp coin with case just because i have a lot of family and friends that love xrp and this is the perfect gift that is really going to catch their eye. That being said, let's get right back to the video. The links for MetalCrypt.com will be down below. So, in conclusion, the legal brief's official lawsuit prediction is a 50.12% chance of a Ripple win, a 29.88% chance the SEC wins with a possible Ripple loss but win in there, a 19.11% chance of a draw this round with a trial in 2023, and a 5-7% to chance of something unexpected. In other words, there's a 110.6% chance of something happening shortly. And finally, finally, when will we know the outcome of the case? My friend, attorney James Filan says it will happen on or before March 31, 2023. And if that's what he says, that is what it is. So in conclusion, the legal brief's official lawsuit prediction is a 50.12% chance of a ripple win a 29.88% chance the SEC wins with a possible Ripple loss but win in there, a 19.11% chance of a draw this round with a trial in 2023, and a 5-7% to chance of something unexpected. In other words, there's a 110.6% chance of something happening shortly. And finally, finally, when will we know the outcome of the case? My friend, attorney James Filan says it will happen on or before March 31, 2023, and if that's what he says, that is what it is. So, in conclusion, the legal brief's official lawsuit prediction is a 50.12% chance of a Ripple win, a 29.88% chance the SEC wins with a possible Ripple loss but win in there, a 19.11% chance of a draw this round with a trial in 2023, and a 5 to 7% chance of something unexpected. In other words, there's a 110.6% chance of something happening shortly. And finally, finally, when will we know the outcome of the case? My friend, attorney James Filan says it will happen on or before March 31, 2023. And if that's what he says, that is what it is. So in conclusion, the legal brief's official lawsuit prediction is a 50.12% chance of a ripple win, a 29.88% chance the SEC wins with a possible Ripple loss but win in there, a 19.11% chance of a draw this round with a trial in 2023, and a 5 to 7% chance of something unexpected. In other words, there's a 110.6% chance of something happening shortly. And finally, finally, when will we know the outcome of the case? My friend, attorney James Filan says it will happen on or before March 31, 2023, and if that's what he says, that is what it is. All right, so that is the prediction of Jeremy Hogan's, also known as the XRP lawyer is what I like to call him. But yeah, I think it's just for XRP specific, it's crucial to understand that XRP is fast, it's low cost, it's scalable, it's eco-friendly. It is literally everything that any financial institution would want. It's also decentralized and deflatory currency, which means it doesn't actually get impacted with inflation. You basically go ahead and are able to maintain inflation if you were to use XRP. 
XRP is a ledger that is running flawlessly since 2012 with a robust technology that started DeFi innovation. And the tweet says it's Satoshi's true vision. And it also has this, as you guys can see right here, where it says it's faster, cheaper, and green money. The digital asset XRP is truly a global currency, ideally suited to enable today's growing digital economy. And it continues on talking about XRP down here. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the links will be down below. But more importantly, make sure you have subscribed to the channel because like I said, one subscribe is equal to one XRP. And if we hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away 15,000 XRP. So do your part, share the video, like the video, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below on the video and what you think XRP's price is going to be. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time.